All right, in today's class, we are going to um, install and configure a WordPress website. So in a previous class, you created a website using WordPress.com. Now this website was kind of hosted on a WordPress you know, server, and you don't really actually own that site. Um, you are subscribing to it and you can make some changes to it with some limitations. If you pay more money, you can do more things to it, basically. I'm gonna show you another way right now to install a WordPress site differently. This way, you are going to download the WordPress files, so all the um, PHP files and CSS files and image files and everything that you need, that a website needs. Um, you're going to download that from the wordpress.org site, you're going to download, download it onto your computer, and then you're going to upload it onto the server, the same server that we have been uploading all our activities and homeworks to, okay? Um, and then when the files are uploaded there, you have to do another step where you go to a link and then you install the website, okay? So to install the website, you need passwords um, and um, database name and username to connect with the database because WordPress is a dynamic website. It's not just a bunch of HTML pages. It uses PHP and it also uses a database. So this um, website that needs to connect to a database. So therefore we're going to use a database name, a username and a password and connect to it. Okay. So let's, uh, that's quite a few steps we have to go through. So let's do it one step at a time. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, download the WordPress files from WordPress.org. Okay, so let's go over to WordPress.org. So where do we find that? Down here, download WordPress files. So let's go click on that. Okay. And then it'll go to the WordPress.org site. So you click on get WordPress up here. Then you go here, download and install. And I would like you to download WordPress 5.9. Okay, so I have already downloaded it onto my computer. It comes as, a, of course, in a zipped folder. So you need to, after it has downloaded, you need to right click on it and then extract it. Okay, so make sure that it's not a zipped folder, but rather it is, um, it is a file, okay? So if it's a zip folder, it will look like this. All right, compress folder, and you don't want that. All right, it would look, there you should move that over, it'll look like this. So you can't upload that, you need to extract it, okay, and then make it look, okay, so you have to extract it, and then it'll look like this. This is very important. Sometimes students just upload a zipped folder onto the server, and that's not gonna help you. All right, so after you have, you know, extracted it, double click in there, and take a look, you should have a WP admin folder, WP content folder, WP includes, and all these PHP files here, okay? So um, you don't need to do anything in here, I just want you to make sure that you did in fact um, extract it properly. So the next thing you're gonna do is then go into CyberDAC. So you're gonna go open connection, you're gonna put all the server, um, name, which is the FTB address, the username and the password, okay, and here and connect, all right, and this is all given to you here, so right here in CyberDoc, all right, and then you would connect, okay, and then after you connect, you need to navigate over to your own folder, so go over to your own folder, don't go to somebody else's folder, and to your own, I'm Yin, so I'm gonna go into Yin folder, and then I would upload, okay? And then you choose, you go navigate to, you know, your, oh, you go navigate to, there we go, documents, and then you navigate to where you saved your WordPress folder and click on, click on that WordPress folder, okay? And then choose and upload, and then it should upload it into here. Okay, I'm not gonna do it live in front of you because that would take a while. All right, so here we have WordPress folder. Again, I'm just gonna double check in there and make sure everything is in there. Okay, that's great. So now you are almost ready to install the WordPress site. 
Um, I'm just going to pause here for a minute. So some students might be asking me what the hell is or what the heck is, um, you know, uh, CyberDuck. So if you were not in Info 2105, you did not install CyberDuck and you don't know what it is. So let me just give you a short explanation what CyberDuck is. CyberDuck is an FTP client that helps you upload files from your computer to the server. So you know how in Dreamweaver we connect to the server and we can upload it from there? So it's that's an FTP client and that's an FTP client that's integrated into uh, Dreamweaver. But um, CyberDuck is not part of Dreamweaver, it's just a separate um, application on its own. All it does is just upload files to your server for you. So if you don't have CyberDuck, you need to go download CyberDuck. Okay, so where do you go to download CyberDuck? Right here, this link, so click on it. And then you will say download, okay. Mm, lots of things here. Okay, so you say download, CyberDuck. Oh, that's an ad. Oh, okay. There we go, Down, download CyberDuck. And make sure that you, it's, it's free software. So make sure that you download it for Windows, if you're Windows and down, okay and download it for a Mac if you're on a Mac, all right? And after that, download, install, and open it up, and it should look like this, okay? So that's it for CyberDoc. So once you have CyberDoc and you have uploaded the files, you're good to go. So your next step is then to, okay, let me just close a few things. Okay, and your next step is then to go to this link URL to start installing WordPress. 